Hey guys, so today I will be trying this mango. This is a lemon meringue, also known as a PPK mango. Now, full disclaimer, I actually just recorded a video of me tasting this, but I realized after I was done that my microphone had shut off shortly after I started recording, so it didn't capture any of what I was saying. So I am going to do this again, and I promise I will have the same reaction after I taste it to the first time I tasted it. So I got this uh, yesterday at Truly Tropical Farm in Delray Beach. They have a great selection of exotic mango flavors. It was a little bit expensive. I actually got five little mangoes for about $15, uh, $14. Um, this was actually the biggest one. The other ones were pretty small, but they have a good selection of mangoes to try. So I'm happy with what I got. Now there's another farm in West Palm Beach called Tropical Acres, not to get confused with it's Truly Tropical, which has a great website, which talks about all the different varieties of mangoes. There's like hundreds of them on that website. So I'm gonna read off what they say about the lemon meringue. Popiu Calais, that's what this was originally called. That's where the PPK comes from. Popiu Calais was introduced to Florida from Myanmar by Maurice Kong and later given the name lemon meringue by Gary Zill, which it is now more commonly known as. It is a small oval oblong yellow mango, just like this, with pale yellow fiberless flesh, just like that, with a very rich, sweet, citrus-dominated flavor that most people adore. It is one of the most popular mangoes among customers who try it, though its flavor can be washed out in heavy rains. The seed is small and polyembryonic. The trees are vigorous, vertical growers with dense foliage and are reasonably good producers. Both the trees and fruit are anthracnose resistant, but they tend to attract a lot of pests and the trees can sometimes suffer dieback problems. The fruit are moderately susceptible to bacterial black spot, but we found that fruit losses to it haven't been too severe in recent years and wouldn't prevent us from planting them again. Lemon meringue is an early season mango, usually fruiting from May to July here. Despite the aforementioned issues, it is probably still a good choice for people in humid areas of Florida that desire an early, si early season citrus flavored mango. And another fun fact is that the seeds from lemon meringue mangoes actually uh, is where lemon zest and orange sherbet varieties of mangoes came from. So the lemon meringue has two good offsprings. And knowing that, I'm actually gonna save the seed from here, try planting it. And uh, in about 10 years, if you stick around till then, you could see what uh, what I get and what the mangoes taste like. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again. I will cut off another little slice. Now this is pretty soft, might be a little bit overripe. Really nice yellow. Uh, almost orange flesh. <laughs> it has a very mango-y um, smell to it. Mmm. Mmm. So sweet. It's, it's definitely overripe. Very, very sweet. It has no tartness to it whatsoever. Um, there's maybe a little bit of a hint of lemon flavor, but there's really no, no tartness, no like citrusy. It's very sweet. Um, lemon meringue is probably a very good description because very sweet, which is a hint of lemon flavor. Um, it's... A bit overripe, you know, I, I I would like it with a little bit more of a uh, little more tartness to it. It's a little too sweet for me. Yeah, very sweet, very mango-y. Almost tastes like, um, like canned mango or like mango candy. You could tell Kind of here, it's like a little bit gelatinous, which is what overripe mango kind of gets to. Kind of here too. 
Um, other than the hint of lemon undertone, the flavor isn't too complex. Um, I tried coconut cream last year, and then I bought a tree because I loved it so much. That, for a top variety mango, such as like this, I much prefer the coconut cream. I think that uh, flavor is more complex, more interesting. Um, this is still really good. I will give this, on the mango scale, an 8.5. Probably it could have been closer to a nine if it had a little bit more uh, tartness, maybe maybe a few days earlier if I had cut it, it probably could have been closer to a nine because uh, it's just a little too sweet. It's a little overpowering, but definitely a delicious mango. Probably wouldn't grow it. Um, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to try to find it again, but definitely delicious. Um, I'm going to be planting the seed, looking forward to seeing what happens with that. And stick around because I have more mangoes to try. So I just want to do a quick update. I just ate the lemon meringue mango and a pretty, pretty thin seed. Very narrow, going this way, long and narrow. So good seed to flesh ratio on that one. I'm going to uh, try to plant this and see what happens. All right, thanks for watching.